Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, you know, I, I just hope everybody's just having a blessed, safe weekend. Like I always tell you, it is such a blessing to me that our, you know, our community is growing by the day. You know, there's so many people that are connecting in so many different levels and being able to feel Feel that you are not alone in this crazy chaotic world is truly a blessing to me so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift how it impacted your life and heading you toward the positive direction also if you feel like the videos are very informative to you or even gives you good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even fellow empath going through some trying times and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose please go ahead and share them while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for the love and support i love y'all from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today my video is about uh the background music that i'm listening to in the background which i need to turn it up a little bit um, is Astro Projection, Binarial Beats, Theta Realms, Deepest uh, Brainwave, 777, Meditation, Isoponic Tones. I've been getting a lot of 777s. I was looking at my phone, it was like 77%. And it was like, what is it? Yeah, it was like 3, it was like 347. When I looked at it just a few minutes ago, 347 was 309 right now. But, but yeah. And the video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, are reprogramming yourself to who you truly want to be. And that's true. Oh, my God, it's so true. And it's a beautiful thing. Because it's like with the world, they have programmed us to fear things. You know, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. I hate being controlled by folks. I feel like you do whatever you need to do. I feel like if it's not hurting anybody, hurting yourself or hurting any, anybody, the sky's the limit for you. You know, I really feel that way. But it's just like we had to go through this spiritual awakening. We've been stuck in that 3D daggone world for so long. And it just has you looking at everything like you just got these new fresh pair of eyes. Like, you know, when I hear people say, you ain't woke enough. And I'm just like, if you actually know, if, if you, you can't even talk about it. You can't even talk right. Like, if you only knew, you know, because you can tell when somebody is truly still, you know, not woke. You know, and it's just amazing how we can be able to connect things. And it's just like we have been programmed. You know, we have been stuck in this family. You know, I mean, stuck in our families and stuff like that. The people that we picked before birth. And it's just like for us to be walking around blind in our truth. And it takes so many, you know, you, you grew up knowing there was things that was different about you. You know, you stuck out like a sore thumb. You know, um, and it just, we have a an issue of going around like our parents has programmed us to a certain extent you know if you've been abused or whatever people have placed things upon you to basically you know if they tell you the sky is red sky is red sky is red so many different times you're gonna get to that point that you're gonna so much believe it and people are like no the sky is blue no my family said it was red you know but you go through all these different things to allow you to reprogram yourself see things for what they really really are stand and speak in your truth which is the most beautiful thing you know to be able to not worry about how people get you you know what people see of you is how you see yourself how you project out towards yourself is what's important you know there's sometimes it's sad that we walk around and i was even at that point where i had to get validation from outside instead of inside worried about what people thought of me how would they, you know, would they believe the things that I was saying? Will uh, they take the time to listen? Will they understand what I'm saying? And now it's just like a beautiful thing that I can be able to make videos, being able to speak upon my truth. Anything that I truly go through, you know, at times I did feel nervous. Like, you know, would they believe me? Would anybody else, is anybody else going through this? You know, all these different things. And the blessings just came in so many different ways, so many different levels to be able to know 
I get video, I mean, I get confirmation left and right. People saying, Rosalind, I relate to the things that you're talking about. Rosalind, I, you know, I go through all these different things and you're speaking my life. You're speaking my truth. That is a beautiful thing. So you're able to, you know, ugh, program your ways in different ways. Um, being able to put together, you know, when we go through that spiritual awakening, it feels like our life is falling apart. And it truly is. It's the life that has been placed upon you allowed you to see what they wanted you to see. They're putting muzzles on you. They're putting leash leashes on you for you to only go, oh, okay, we only want you to go 10 paces. And you finally can figure out that you're able to take that, you know, that leash off. Oh, and forgot, I forgot to tell y'all this in my first video because this is the second one. If my um sound is sounding crazy, I, I do apologize because when I go back and hear it, um, at times I, I can, it's good and fine, but it's just like, I don't know what it is. It's like my energy, when it gets really crazy, or even when I just, it sometimes it can come out clear and sometimes it might sound a little cracky or anything like that. So I do apologize. I'm trying to, you know, get up enough money to go ahead and get me, you know, a new system and stuff like that for me to be able to do my videos on. But, you know, what the universe applies me with right now is what I got. So I do apologize for that if it's hard for you to hear. If you can put, you know, I put it on there where you can get subtitles as well, you know. Um, but, yeah, going through these things. It, it can be very amazing. It can be scary at some times. And somewhat, it can be confusing. But it's like when you can be able to step out and I always tell people, step out without emotion. Look at your life. Look at the things that has been altered, rearranged, lied. You know, you know, they put put you together like Zynga. You know, and then you're able to be able to control those those pieces of your life. You know, at times, you know, they want to give us, load us up with all this medication saying, oh, well, you're this and this and this and that, all these different mental illness. But it's actually not that. It's just the fact is you're gifted. You multi-gifted. I don't know if that's a word, but I need to get that patent. But I'm going to say you're multi-gifted um, with all these different things. And it takes us either connect with some somebody or something very tragic to come in our lives for us to be able to be aware of the things that they programmed us with, the things that they tried to hide deep, that they were scared for you to find out. So it's like all these things are coming out, all these new gifts about yourself that you're loving to explore. It's me, I love le learning new stuff every day about myself as well as others, or just about our tribe. It's just beautiful to be able to know this because when you know visions come to me and I start seeing things, it's just like I tell y'all, I see so many Impasse, like I see the world. It's like I'm sitting up in space and looking down at the world, and I see so many impasse holding hands together on every part of the world, and they're just being activated one by one by one by one. And it's just like so many of us is getting these switches. It's like we're getting activated like crazy, and you're trying to figure out what's wrong with me. Why am I seeing things? But you know, it, it's like my eyesight's changing, my hearing's being very impaired, like sensitive. You're hearing these ping noises. You got heart palpitations, as well as the headaches, where you're getting vibes that's coming in from the crown chakra all the way to the third eye or in between to the pineal gland. All these different things that are coming about, and you're learning more and more about yourself and how the world works. So it's just like your your certain situation is starting to flip switches. And I notice that a lot about people that especially when I do empath counseling. And I, if you're new, anytime I tell people that you, you know, if you don't feel comfortable with putting um, any comments down on my, my videos, which I truly understand because a lot of people are very private or they don't know how people will take them, you know, for them agreeing or you know saying what they have going on I always tell people if you want look my name up on um, Facebook Messenger you know I don't connect with you on usually don't connect with people unless I knew them for a while know them for a while I connect them with my profile but you know I usually tell people the best way to get in touch with me is Facebook Messenger even if you don't have it because some people don't like dealing with Facebook I always tell them just get down you you can always download the messenger if you really want to get in touch with me I do a lot of impact impact counseling there and do one-on-ones and everything is confidential so it, it's just like it's a beautiful thing I love what I do you know being able to help people every single day being able to let them know you know hey if you need somebody to talk to you know I'm there you know I tell people I'm there you know, it, but it's just the fact is I'll help you as much as you want to help yourself. You know, everything is, you know, free will. You know, we have a, 
we have a thing where you know we're all going through things and we're trying to really know is anybody else going through this do they understand why i'm going through this sometimes i feel off sometimes i feel discombobulated but sometimes i feel very hyper sometimes i feel drained sometimes i'm getting you know downloads and upgrades so many different ways that it makes your head want to spin you know so it's just like they, they are been giving me so many downloads and so many upgrades and it's like it feels good you know usually you know as soon as i said that my phone just lit the heck up you know so it's just really crazy going through everything that i'm going through and um i feel like it's truly a blessing to be able to share these different lessons and blessings as well as wisdom just to be able to let people know you know we go through things and a lot of times you know even my dad spoke about it you know there's a lot of things that people wanted us to believe whether it was in the bible or taught in school all these different things that they wanted to, oh, they added this, but they neglected to tell you that. Or, you know, you learn about this and you're like, wait a minute, hold up. My dad was like, when he started learning the things he learned, he made him want to go smack somebody because he was like, wait a minute, I've been lied to. And you have been because it's like they, the world will try to program you into being feared about a lot of things. It's just like. You know, they say if you really want to get the truth, either you talk to an old person or you, you talk to a toddler. Or, you know, because a baby don't really fear things until you put that fear into them. Like, okay, don't go walking in the street. Because they'll go walk in the street. They ain't going to know if, you know, if they don't look, they're going to get hit by a car. You know, they, you know, they'll go stick their finger in a light socket. They don't know they're going to be electrocuted. They don't have fear in their life. Everything is like new to them and they want to oh i want to go play with this oh i want to go play with that and it's just like we we're starting to become that when you unprogram yourself you're being able to place yourself in in ways you decide you want to do it you know if you want to be walking around blind in your truth you can do that but universe is going to keep on messing with you and having things falling apart with you in so many ways like didn't i tell you to go listen to this okay you don't want to listen all right i'm gonna add this to your life add this to your life cut all these things out that you used to you know it's like with me i used to always instead of actually trying to you know heal myself in so many different ways i had so many things going on you know i was dealing with my own personal issues and then i had to deal with other people's thoughts other people's vibrations other people's energies so i smoked weed just you know get to my higher self be able to get this you know try to ignore this you know i was dealing with a lot of pain of Finding out how my my family lied to me, find out how I was being used, finding out who my true identity is, who my father was. That was a lot for me to deal with all at one time. And then on top of that, everything that was erased out of my memory for, you know, my my you know, my sleep hypnosis all came back at one time and on top of dealing with that too and then it was like all of a sudden all my my weed plugs, you know, whatever you want to call them, marijuana plug, the people I get my stuff from, all of a sudden they stopped talking to me. Either they got the phone cut off or they got locked up or, you know, they were no longer selling no more. So I'm just like, you were just cutting everything out of my life that I truly need. I didn't need to smoke weed just for me to get to my higher self. Now it's like, all I got to do is say a prayer and all these things start coming to me. Or all of a sudden I start, you know, I can just stare in the space and all of a sudden these visions will start coming to me. And it was just so, so, so crazy and I really feel blessed because it allowed me to go through that pain it allowed me to go through that sorrow confusion anger and all those things has taught me something one day at a time one way or another being able you know not having confidence in myself having people that you know that was you know kind of having the same thing in common with me we, we know we can do all these things but we didn't have that that felt like we had that power in ourselves to really be able to carry on and do the things we needed to do now it's like more and more i'm coming more into my power and it's just like more of my gifts are enhancing like now it's like you know when somebody fears certain things i can smell it right on them automatically and then hear the thoughts that's going on in their head i don't say anything as you know i don't like telling people the things out here you know sometimes that can benefit you in a way but it's just like going through all those different things has made made me feel like you know you know at first it was a curse to me because i shouldn't have been able to do these things or you know how am i able to know these things my dad has always told me you are so extraordinary you are so special the things that come into your life are there for a purpose you have to be able to utilize them how they're supposed to be utilized don't let that go to waste so all these different things are going about 
you're going to end up going through them as, as well. You're going to see the, the life lessons that are being brought to you. You probably look at things back in your life where things just came to you and you didn't pay attention to them. And now they're making sense to you now. So allow yourself to be able to program yourself to how you truly want to be. Not what anybody else wants you to be. Because it's like you're coming more into your power. So you be able to you know, build yourself up, build up your persona to where you want it to be. And be the strongest person you can always, you know, you were always meant to be. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. I would lo love to uh, give a shout out to, uh, let me see, Nikita Howell and Lisa McDevitt. Much love to you as well. And Jabrian, much love to you too. And I will see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line and let me know if you resonate or you agree with what I'm talking about. Um, share, give me a thumbs up. You know, hit that bell subscribe and i'll see you on my next video know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can and i will see you on my next video much love peace